Yo, it's your boy Dells, and welcome back to Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. In the last part, we entered into this jungle and we were just trying to scour and see what clues we can find as we go deeper into the remains of this building and we come across Talbot's men and unfortunately we weren't stealthy enough. So yeah, um, I do not want to do that from this side because I think I would die. Okay, never mind. Oh, Drake was holding his knees though. Uh, hey, oh, I remember this puzzle. Script. Yeah, I remember this puzzle. Doesn't say anything though. It's just nonsense. I remember this puzzle. Notes? All right. I stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. I get it. Good this idea. is a pretty cool puzzle. Uncharted Three actually has some very interesting puzzles. I can't even lie. Um, let's see. There we go. Look at this. Yeah. Did Lawrence make any notes about this? I'm Let me gonna... check. Yeah, there we go. I was waiting for the, you know, the icon to show up. All right, so in the bottom left, you can see the symbol with the half crescent moon and, um, you know, the circle above it. Apologies if I actually don't know what the symbol is. And then we have to reach the top, which, you know, looks like a circle with the half crescent moon looking like a crown. So the path to the sun. So we're starting from the moon and we're working our way up to the sun. And we have to follow the pattern of the symbols. So we need to walk Maybe on... you gotta walk across them in a certain order. Yes, thanks, Sully. Basically summarized everything I say. One thing I realized about myself, I tend to <laughs> find it hard to like summarize my sentences. It's definitely something I need to learn to do better. But yeah, let's let's do this. Hopefully we can do this in a few tries. So we need to try and get to the X's. Okay. So I can see the X's right here. Okay. Right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then it must be a path, Nate. If you step on the tiles in the right order, something's bound to happen. Okay, I know what to do. One, two, three. Then we need to step on the other one four times. Two, three, four. Then X twice. One, two. I think I messed up. No, I'm good. One, two, three. And there we go up. <laughs> nice. You did it. I remember it took me a while to do this before, but yeah. Obviously, with knowledge, it's pitch dark and power. Want to give us some light? Sure. Nate, how many times have I had to tell you, man? You need a light. Oh. <laughs> it's so important for you. Yeah, this stuff's got to be at least 400 years old. Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. <laughs> That's his only job. <laughs> to use the smoking habits to get us through. Nice. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Ah, uh, for my alchemist. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Okay, what are we doing, though? <laughs> I need to find hey, something to trigger. Look at this. Oh. Hmm. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nokian script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah, or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh, right. Help me push. Drake, get behind the damn table. 
Okay. For some reason, it's not working. That's why. Because I was on the wrong side, apparently. Bro, I'm pressing triangle. <laughs> We did all of that to push a table. Why, thank you. Not you. John D. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing more spider webs. <sighs> Bro, Spider Man's already on this console. I know I said that Nathan Drake Sully, can rival Spider Man, but. <laughs> Oof. Ah, Serious. Better. You know, one of these days you're really going to have to start carrying your own matches. For what real. What are you talking about? <laughs> Literally, this light lights your path every single time in every game. You need a lighter, Drake. You need one. You need a lighter. Whoa. Looks like they really wanted to keep something out. We're in. Yeah, give me a hand with this. Yeah. I only have a hand to have for. I got it. There you go. Oh my days, I remember this puzzle. This one gave me some trouble. Like the family crypt. We might spend like the rest of this part Guns doing this section of our huh? life. With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. The puzzles in this game are quite challenging, but they're pretty cool. Let's see. It looks like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. Okay. So, you can see the images here. And we need to essentially match them with what's on the board. So, I kind of understand, kind of. So, right, so each area has these reflective panels on the ground. And depending on where you stand, the symbols will change. So, what we need to do <laughs> is we need to figure out what the we need to figure out where they need to go. So, this bird, right? Okay. So we got the bird here, and we got the horse here, and we've got two more images at the top, which I think is a cow and was that a knight or a lion? I don't know. Anyways, we got a lion here, we got a bird there. This one's been rubbed off, so it's either going to be the cow or the or the um yeah you can see this one's fallen down so we don't know what is in the middle here this one's going to be a bit confusing but let's let's try so based on the symbols here we can gauge where the symbols need to go so let's do what we know let's start off with the lion so the lion has to be above the symbol I don't really see it okay so the line has to be above this symbol and below that symbol so let's do that what is this medieval game show <laughs> pretty elaborate yeah anything it doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts no. Now they would have hidden this tomb. Keep looking around. Am I barking? No. Where is it? Hey. Uh, this puzzle can be quite annoying. <laughs> Hold up. Am I wrong? Oh, I think I've got it wrong, man. Okay, my bad. Okay, let's go back. So the lion... This this one's kind of confusing. 
so the line is in the middle okay this is where the line needs to go this panel if i look at the line no this isn't even the line but the line's here so this panel yeah i don't know which one's north which one's south and which one's flipping west anyways So, okay, so these two are the same. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> I think it's here because yeah that's this is where it needs to go because the top one was the icon which you can see above it and beneath it was yeah so this is where it needs to go cool. all right next so yeah i believe this is the top this is the bottom and then this is obviously left and right. And we have to memorize all four symbols for all four different positions because the symbol that we're trying to find is in the center. So this one is the bird. And looks like the top is that symbol. The right is the symbol, and the eight is that symbol. All right. I want to move the eagle. That's it. So yeah. So that goes there. Now the problem is. <laughs> is that this one here, I don't know what the flip symbol this is. All right, so let's check our flipping book. So we did that one. It looks like the horse. Ah, so the horse is just above. Okay, so the horse is two spaces to the left and one above from the eagle. Um, Okay, let's do that. Alright. No. There we go. So, the one that I need is the... This one. Oh, oh what have I done? That's the line that I moved. Okay. There we go. Oh. Come on. I need the horse. There we go. Alright. Now, the last one is the cow. Or the bow. We need the bow. Not the bow. Not the bow. Bull. Okay. Where do you go? <laughs> Don't know where this one goes. I think this one is the horse because there was no way for me to find that. So this one has to be the bow. Okay. So the top is the eight symbol. The right is. The one that looks like a like a shoe shoe club. What is this? I can't even see what that one is. Okay, so I can see the three of them. For some reason I can't see so the top is that 
the left is that the trident right is the what's the top again oh, is the eight all right cool come on we got this all right uh, ah So the eight trident, I think it's here. Oh, got there in the end. Good job, kid. Mm. Looks inviting. Watch yourself. It's a very Watch tricky puzzle, but it's the one and only. It's doable, man. It's doable. It took that took me forever, guys. The first time I was on this that for hours, man. Sure. I was so confused. I'm sure if you search on YouTube. Even though you're watching this on YouTube, I'm sure if you search other videos of people doing that puzzle, people will be like, man, this one took me time. There's something written here. <laughs> Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. It's in Sabine's script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah. Exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. This game has some really interesting gimmicks, man. Honestly. Like, I actually don't hate this game. It's just, there's some bits about it that I just... Uncharted 2 was such a polished game. And then this game... Just, oh, I wouldn't recommend that. Come on, I hate, I hate when Uncharted does this. We do all the work and then they just nice show up. Work, gentlemen. See, Harris, he's even admitting it. Please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris, come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. What is that? Oh my god. What the hell? Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly. Get him off me! Get him off me! Bruh. These guys are such sick individuals, man. Your torch seems to be dying out. I really do hate this tablet, dude. Guys, such a what a dick. Yeah. Said it himself, man. I was thinking of the words to describe and fake somebody. I appreciate it. Stay close. The torch is going out. Okay. Bro, We're I'm trying. Way out of here. Wait, up there. Okay. Come on. Move. Come on, come on. <laughs> Come on, help me. Help me, Sally. Give me a hand. Please. I'm jumpy. Alright, we gotta go. Come on. Oh, not the Crash Bandicoot angle. Jesus Christ, they're coming from everywhere. Get off me. Come on, Come on we gotta go. Go. Oh. Get the hell up. It's still biting me. Oh, Wait, God, we haven't left? I thought we were done. Oh my gosh, this is remind me of that Donkey Kong game. This is remind me of Donkey Country Returns. The Muncher Marathon. Hi. I like this. This is kind of my platform. He was save. the speed. He was the speed. Alright, I'm, I'm taking this this time. This is giving me a um, Crash Bandicoot. You don't oh. like Crash. You get I, I like I like that level. Why did I die? I'm coming back. Let's go. Fuck. Sully, where you at? 
Oh my gosh, he's gone. Sully! <laughs> Sully! <laughs> oh! He's gone. Wait, how'd you get up there? What? Jump. Bro, that was definitely the Munchie Marathon. Right, huh? yeah. Oh my days. Are you good? Oh. Yo. You guys haven't watched my Donkey Kong yeah, so. If you guys Let's haven't watched my Donkey Kong Country ahead. Returns playthrough, go check that out, man. I did it with your boy Jerry. And and it was yeah. It's a fun time, man. They're putting that game to the Switch after finally, you know, after how many years, the entirety of the Switch's okay. lifespan. They're finally porting it onto the Switch. Great. I mean I'm happy about it, but I'm annoyed as well because it's like We wanted a new Donkey Kong game. The entirety of the Switch's lifespan is basically filler for the Donkey Kong series because they've only ported the only two games that the Donkey Kong Country series has had in the past 15 years. 15 years! Donkey Kong has only had two games. And on the Switch, on the Switch, they decide what to do just to port the same two games. Like, I'm glad they're doing, like, Donkey Kong Country Returns in HD. But like, I'm a bit annoyed because I did all that work because Nintendo didn't want to do that. And the next thing you know, when I've done it, that's when they decide... Oh, my. Climb. That's when they decide to pull it. Oh, bro, please. It's enough. Just like I planned. So, yeah. I'm happy and annoyed. What's happening? Hold on. Every last drop. What? The hell are they doing? Burn the whole place down. Oh no. It's <laughs> only we gotta get out of here. Bro. Remember how in the beginning Nathan was like, yo, don't burn it down. Don't burn the place down. The place. And next thing you know. They're burning it down. What? Bro, how have I not got any bullets? What do I do? Hey, let go of me. Give me that. Alright, he's gonna blow up. Oh. Hold on, Sully. I like how these enemies are just wearing hoods, like. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay. Where are we going? What do you got up here? Okay, I know what I need to do. Drake, stop fooling around, Pine. What? No. I was so confused. Bro. Sally, man, careful. Don't give me an insight. Don't give me an insight. Oh, my days. All right, let's do this. Okay, now we can get up here. Okay, come on. Sally, boost me. Okay, I guess. <laughs> oh shoot! That's no good. Where are we going? Trapped. There's gotta be a way out of here. There has to be, but I can't see it. All right, thanks for clearing the park, my friend. This way. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Come on. Because. My name is Nathan Jurek. Alright. Oh my. Alright, Nate! Yeah, 
Of course, have to take the dangerous path. Bro, guys, I'm telling you, this game is it. I see that. <laughs> I see that burning plank. Cinematic masterpiece, this this one. Cinematic masterpiece. Alright, climb. Monkey bar this. Yep, yep, yep. It's insane what Drake does, man. Oh my. Brother, too many jump scares for me. Too many. Get me out. I've been in this place all my days. I knew he was moving mad. Oh no. Where did this hench Donnie come from? Keep swinging. One, two. Wait, give him another one. Nope. Bro, it's enough. Oh, right into private parts. Give him another one. Give him another one. Give him another one. Uh huh. Uh huh. What the? Bro. Bro, it's enough. Bro, I, it's hot in here. Get him taken down. Oh. Bro, I'm exhausted. Alright, get me down. I'm trying, I'm trying. Bro, it's just so much fighting. Get me out of here. Alright, there we go. He's done. Ugh. Okay. Whoa. Alright, he's done. Where are we going? Where are we going? You go down. I was trying to leave. Wait, up here. Alright. Just careful. I have to be careful because I don't know who's about to show up. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? There's the door. Alright, cool. Let's go. Of course. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Where? Sully? Oh my. Oh, bro, help me, run, halt, what, Drake, it's enough, how many things do you have to break in one sequence, get down, Drake, enough breaking, please, I'm tired, I <laughs> just went out. This place is already burning. That's the challenge. I don't need you to make it more difficult. Oh, this guy doesn't listen. Oh my. <laughs> Look at this. Look. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? Hey. Ah, oh, no more. No more, Drake. Just move, I beg. I beg. I'm dizzy. Oh. Bro, oh, you even got Sully shook, man. Save him. Oh my. Oh no, nah. you're gonna give this man a butt cat. Yay. Yay. Oh my gosh, the cameras, man, is working overtime. What is with bridges and Naughty Dog, bruv? This is like the road to nowhere, man. Yay. What do you mean? I'm already up. We're talking about, come on, where are we going? This way. Oh my days. Bro, what are we doing? Oh my, come on. Where are we going? Tell me where to go. Bro, I can't break through that. Are you serious? Sully, what are we doing? Alright, I guess we're going this way. Alright. Bomber club? Oh my. Okay. Alright, they're done. Alright. Okay, I don't see any more enemies. 
Okay, now I do. One time I want something to break if it leads to my escape. Where we going? Where we going? Oh. Right. Freedom! On. Freedom! Oh, Drake, man. Every time something has to break, it. what the hell? Oh. Is this treasure worth it, man? We're only in part. What part is this? Part four? And I'm already tired. What? Oh. oh my days. Oh. Oh. Bro. No. Oh. Oh. Oh my days. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Oh, man, that was close, huh? You alright? Oh, yeah. <coughs> just swell. Here, just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this? No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had your back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were oh, followed... shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. Sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlow and Talbot think we're dead, we got the element of surprise. It's not wasted. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage taken type. Let's just go with best case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. <laughs> right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm.
Ooh, guys, I'm tired. I think I'm going to call it apart. <laughs> so, guys, if you enjoyed this part of Uncharted 3, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Safe.